Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and thank you so much for requesting the free digital background client catalogue. This is an editable Canva template. I created this for my, uh, my own newborn photography clients, but I soon realised that um, you can benefit from this too. So I've created this editable template for you um, so you can create your own digital background client catalogue. So your clients can choose and request from any of these image setups you have digital backgrounds. So you know in advance which poses and angles you can work into your session. You can print this out and send it to your clients if you send your clients printed media or you can link the PDF to a confirmation email with a little bit of writing in there that they can pick and choose um, and decide uh, which images they'd like in advance um, and you can also put a little bit of information in there about your digital backgrounds that you use that are going to make your clients really want to choose these images. So let's get started on how to do this. You will need a free Canva account. You don't need to pay for Canva. It's completely free. Um, you just need to sign up with your email address to Canva. Once you've signed up on the website, you'll get to this page, a digital background and um, client catalogue editable. A little bit of tripping over my words, Canva template. You can click here to download the Canva template or you can follow the link in your email. And this will link you to a PDF download. This is a one page PDF and in here you have um, links to get the A4, that's if you're in England or in Europe or anywhere else in the world, um, template or if you're in America, you can get the US letter template. So click on the one for you. Let's go for A4 because I'm in England, but they look exactly the same, just a slightly different size. You will come to this window here. Um, so what you need to do is click use template. And here you can um, continue to log in to Canva. And this is where you can either create your account or log in. Set that load up here. Let's just close that window. So on Canva, you have page one here, and this is delete this page before editing. This is a little read through here about um, what the back background, um, the background, which the, what the guide entails. My goodness, I am tripping over my words today. A link to the LSP Actions website if you'd like to actually check out the LSP Actions digital backgrounds to add to your client catalogue and a little bit of legal. So the first thing you're going to want to do after reading this, once you're, um, once you're happy with this, is come up to the little trash icon and delete this page. And this brings you to page one. This is your front cover for the uh, digital background catalogue. Everything on here is changeable. You can scroll down to see the other pages. There's some wording here about digital background, some information for your clients. You can leave this as it is, but I do recommend going in there and changing this to suit your own branding and wording and adding in anything else you might like to add. And then we're down to the digital background catalogue pages. You change here the digital background name, you can change the image and you can write a little bit about the digital background. I've popped a few pages in to get you started, but you can just continue making more and more pages by coming up here and clicking on this little duplicate page um, button and that will just duplicate it. To have a look at your pages and change the order you can come down here to this little grid view next to the um, next to the zoomy line and you can see all your pages here laid out in order and you can drag them and move them around just like this. So let me show you how to edit this. The first thing you're going to want to do is come up here and pop your photography business name in. So I'm going to come and write Lemon Sky Photography. You can also add your logo too. To do that, you need to go over here on the left to the Uploads panel and click Upload Files. On your computer, you can locate the files that you want to upload. So I've just clicked on my logo there. And you simply click this to add it in. You can drag and drop, you can resize, so I'm just going to pop this nice and small at the top there. You can also double click here and change your website. I recommend doing those. And the next thing you're going to want to change is your front cover image. If you use this um, digital background here, this is the LSP Actions Vintage Scales digital background. You can keep that as you like if you want to. But if not, I do recommend uploading your own digital background images. Maybe these are digitals you've created. Maybe these are digitals you've purchased from me at LSP-Actions. Or maybe these are digitals you've purchased from elsewhere. You can come on Upload Files and again locate these files on your computer. So let's pop some of these in, some digital background images. And decide which image you'd like to use for your front cover. 
This might be your most popular or your favourite digital image. You can change the colours of any element here by clicking on it, clicking on this little colour box, and you can click around and change the colours um, to anything you like to suit your branding. Page 2 here has some information um, about using digital backgrounds and about what your clients can expect and why use digital backgrounds. For example, it mentions that simple newborn images can be transformed into an art piece and included in your baby book or printed for the nursery wall. Digital backgrounds allow you to have even more variety and bespoke um, imagery in your gallery. So you're really um, selling the use of digital backgrounds here. There's also a section saying, please note, I cannot guarantee the results of any images, poses or setups chosen in advance. The final gallery outcome of your session, this is what you're saying to your clients, ultimately depends on how baby is um, during the photo shoot. So I recommend keeping that in or rewording that so it fits to your own personal wording. So you can keep this as it is or you can change this. You simply double click on the text and you can put... Um, extra text in. You can just change this exactly how you want. If you want to change the text size, you can come up here. If you want to change the font, you can um, simply click up here where it says Open Sans and go ahead and choose your own font. And again, there's more images here. So if you have um, a before and after, you know, a, a newborn and a digital, you can change them and pop them in there. Let's go back to the uploads. So let's say Let's say I'm going to upload um, so an edited finished image here. You can just drag that in until it hovers over and snaps in. And then the digital background here. Really, really easy to drag and drop these. Now we're onto the actual digital background catalogue. Once you've got your introduction and your front cover out of the way, we're onto the digital background catalogue. Let's get rid of that comment there. So what you do up here, you would add in your own um, digital background, unless of course you use the LSP digitals and you keep the images as they are. Change the name of the digital. If it doesn't have a name, then give it something really lovely and appealing um, for your clients. And here you have the digital background description text. So I've put a little bit of tips in here, keep it brief, include how this digital is best suited. For example, maybe it's suited to be printed large on the nursery wall, or if it's an ideal gift for the grandparents, maybe it's the perfect cover for the baby photo album um, that you sell to your clients. Is it sweet, simple, timeless? Include any information your clients may need to know in advance. So you can just double click this and start typing. anything else you may like to add in there. And you can do the same. You can also um, change this. You can change the size of the images in Canva. You just click around. You can add more text. You can literally do whatever you like. Let's go for this one here. I'm just going to add a taller image. I'm going to add the Lemon Sky Balloon. And for this image, it's actually a long, thin, narrow image. So you double click and you can just pull that image in. Um, to suit any size box you've added. It's really, really easy to edit in Canva. And again, you can add it, um, edit the description there. You can also draw around everything and move a whole page around if you wanted to. And again, you can duplicate these pages as many times as you need, change the pictures, um, change the wording, and do whatever um, you know you'd like to do so it aligns with your brand and your look or you can keep it pretty much exactly as it is and just change some of the wording just like that really really simple and easy to use and when you've finished editing your digital backgrounds in um, and as I said you can use this for other setup images it might not be for digitals you could change this and use this for your you know your newborn catalogue but I do recommend um, keeping this mainly just for your digitals so it's something specific for your clients to look through and they know exactly what's required of them while they're looking and then here at the end thank you for booking with your name photography 
And you can add some final finishing text here that's on brand for you. So you could mention a little bit more about using digital backgrounds. You could add a link to your website, um, your website gallery, perhaps, where they can find more image inspiration and examples. Or you could add a Pinterest board um, that you've put together, perhaps. Anything that you'd like your clients to do next, what's the next action you'd like them to take? But keep it brief. Anything legal um, or, or, you know, user user wise do point to your contract or anywhere else try and keep this specific to digital background so your client doesn't need to do too much you can also rename this um, if you wanted to if you have maybe a couple of different versions or you did one and then you've had more digitals so you would like to create another you just come up here to file and you can just um, change the name here and that will appear in your canva panel once you're finished and you've edited the entire thing and you'd like to save it, you can come up here to the share button, hit download. Where it says file type PNG, you're going to want to click this and change it to PDF. You can change it to a PDF standard or a PDF print. So if you're going to print this out for your clients, go print. If you're sending it via email, then click PDF standard and hit download. And what that's going to do, woohoo, it's going to download this to your computer and you can use it exactly as it is. And thank you for downloading this guide. I would really love to see what you're doing with this. So once you've changed it for your clients, please do screenshot and post in the Facebook group because I would really, really love to see how you've adapted and used this for your client sessions. And if you'd like to learn more about the LSP Actions digital backgrounds for newborn photographers, you can go over to lsp-actions.com Click on digital backgrounds and you'll find a whole host of multi-layered digital backgrounds for newborn photographers. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.